AC. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start moving the token along here. So let's see here. You get to about 14.6. And I'm going to slash R D20 plus 5. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it begins. Oh, that's, oh wow. That's Wonderful. so beautiful. That's... Uh, Anybody want to use their heroic effort or no? <laughs> nah. I don't know. It's it just oh, that, that was a one. It feels like we should. We we have to take <laughs> it. The the dice gods decided we must fight. Right. Or okay. All right. Let me well. let me go to let me let me set up something real quick. Sorry, guys. I'm making yeah, I'm making everybody wait a little longer, but. Gosh, that's such a that's freaking terrible. <laughs> 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 your saves are just <laughs> magical. Uh, I like I like zero. Uh, zero is coming. It's like good luck on your no encounter. Ru Aww. <laughs> 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 but we got a plus five to our saves. We have. Uh, uh, <laughs> this should be. We only have a twenty five percent chance to fail. Oh. I think that oh, that was okay. that happened the first time we got like a big bonus too, didn't it? I think it's like first time we got a plus five. We only have a 20% chance oh, to God. battle. Gungar's really ready for this fight. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, heck happened there? I deleted I told... your token off of this map. It was a Swamp Encounters map. Grunga has received it. initiative. Grunga has received initiative. <laughs> uh, Grunga's body is turns out, Turns out this encounter, we're actually, fi we're actually fighting six Grungars. God, that's <laughs> well, you had, to just spoil, you had to uh, just spoil that one. Well, that sounds horrible. I picked up the right at will then. <laughs> it's okay, all we need to do is use fire on them. Oh, well, yeah. Because Santique's fire burns through his resist. Because I have resist. Uh, I have resistance now to so some fire. Yeah. Looking Trail. around here, seeing what we got. What would be good for this? Yeah. Yep, got resist five now. So, everyone but Santique, I can take fire damage a little bit. Okay. But it is just the attacks. So if she lays down a zone that's not ally friendly, your resistance should still work against it, though. Yeah. She just doesn't have any that of those yet. That'll be fun. You just lay down a wave of fire and Gringer walks through it. Yeah. At level 10, the Pyromancer Master, or no, is it Expert? I think it's the Master one. It's like she can do Con Mod to anyone who ends their turn in any of her Blast or Bursts. They make a zone. But that's only 2 damage. I'm not sure. I might go for the, um, the Evocation Master, because you don't need to stick with your first one. <laughs> it just needs to be one that you have the uh, prerequisite for. We encounter You'll have two of them. Our encounter is going to be against Periton zombies. The ones that oh, we God, killed. Oh, God, that's right. I picked up Evocation. Oh, I need to work that in my macros. Sorry to interrupt. That was... <laughs> that's fine. Take, 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 take. Gotta say, this level was wonderful for Grungar. You got, like, plus three to hit chance. One from making a strength 20, one from half level, and one from picking up Master at Arms. Donny, make us fight a giant holding a halberd. I, I want a big halberd. I want the D12. Huh. Oh, jeez, that's no good. Imagine. I'll be with okay. it. No, no, I, I, I just... I'm rolling some stuff, and I just nat 20 something that would not be favorable to you guys. Uh, now you're fighting the Balrog. Dice one <laughs> equals one. The D6. swamp Balrog. What's he doing there? Shut up. It's my game. <laughs> For whatever reason, there's a hat. There's a wizard's hat nearby in the burnt pile of ashes, but we don't check that out. There's all very staff over there. It's like, oh damn it. <laughs> okay, we can't reach it. Well, we all failed our endurance checks to make it through the swamp, so I mean... That's kind of a gimme. 
You need to roll one higher, no, uh, one higher than you're possibly capable of. Damage, nice one. God, that sucks. Greater than. Oh, equal to two. Uh, damage dice equals minus one. Damage dice equals damage dice two. Evocation, it, it's kind of screwy. It lets you re-roll one damage dice on evocation powers for the damage. Yep. Yeah. It's not impossible to do in a macro, it's just awkward. Looks a bit ugly. Uh, just what you gotta do is just look at the yeah, look at the individual damage and just be like, I can re-roll that. I had a thing that if I rolled a natural one, two, or three, it would put this little red asterisk next to it. It's pretty handy. Yeah. Actually, I need well, to you make can you just have it like if you have it check for if it can. Reroll it. You can just like make it reroll it as part of that instead of just making it show up as an asterisk. So you don't even need to press another button. It's just annoying. If uh, if no one finds a level five thing they want to take, I might take it just for a shits and giggle item. It's the parry gauntlets. When you take a total defense or second win, add another plus two bonus to the defenses. Put that along with my my maul, and I have a plus five to all my defenses when I take total defense. You shall not pass. <laughs> we find a corridor, and we just put Grungar there. Uh, does anyone have? Uh, is anyone low on magic stuff comparatively? I think it is Cintiq because I only have the utility staff. But, yeah, I yeah. have. I have. Like three magic items, so I'm fine. I have three. If Cintiq doesn't have, should probably have like an armor then. I just need to think of one I want. Because I mean, I could always default to runic armor just for the plus one to Arcana, but. Meh. Do you have a next slot item? No. I don't even have, don't have a next slot to enchant either. I should ask them if they have like a necklace. It's like, nope, I'm taking a tin chant. Give me this bauble. Do you have a necklace? Not anymore. I have this cursed necklace. That was my mother's. Modius. It's like, I have this necklace of most Modius. No, you don't. I'm enchanting it. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Anyway, uh, so. Uh. Are your tokens all up to date now, guys? Or on the still Overland working on? Map. Mine is on yep. on the Overland map. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. They're all they're all up to date. Uh, okay. Mine isn't. Okay. Uh, go ahead and update them, and then I'll port you over to the place I need you to be. Just tell me when you're done. Right. It's been a little bit sluggish, but I think we'll pick up here soon. Let me just. Oh, he's doing that. Then let me just make oh, sure. Oh, you heard it here, folks. We're fighting slugs. Oh, definitely. Okay. That's that's what I'm putting you up against. Despite your epic snail fight you had earlier and your epic meal time, where you all got sick from snail meat, except for except for Cintiq, Strangely enough. <laughs> no, Cintiq got exactly. sick. It was. Oh, she did. Cintiq and Grunger oh, got sick. It was the White Wizard and I think Matthias? Okay. I didn't eat any. Yeah. Hemig just said no. He, he made the smart choice. Oh, that's right. You 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 made your you made that really amazing endurance check on that forced march. <laughs> yeah. I remember that where you were the only one who didn't lose a healing surge. Mm. I think this is working well enough. Okay, so everything updated, guys? I'm good. Moment. Okay. Just one more. Okay, it's not just constantly rolling two somehow. I'm not sure how it would do that, but if it was, that would have been a problem. <laughs> That's 
Some somehow the coding gives you a number a two generator. That's because you tried to make it a twenty. You totally tried to cheat with your macros, but it didn't work that way. That's how it works, right? <laughs> you can do that, right, with macros? It's like magic, if, right? If not <laughs> equal twenty, re-roll till twenty. <laughs> like the XKCD comic. Actually, I do do like the. 1d20 r20 when I'm testing crit functions, because that's the easiest way to do it. It's like it'll always crit, so. Yeah. When I'm I've testing that, that, I just have it. Uh, yeah, just instead of rolling a d20, I just have it as 20. Die roll equals 20 instead of 1d20. I mean, either way, though, it will still. Like, you could hide it, but. People could just go in the macro and check and be like, what's this? Yeah, I think it looked weird if you never rolled under a certain number. Okay, let's draw. Let's just put out each D8 because I don't feel like. D8. Gosh, I, I, I did it again. I started trying to. I started right clicking and dragging across the uh, Twitch stream <laughs> like i was trying to move the map i'm like why why is the map not moving and why is it so small <laughs> <laughs> why is there like a delay oh that, that does gosh. apply to force orb doesn't it yes it does oh gosh man i'm, I'm losing it guys it's okay here. i am done all right, so let's get this thing started. Let's, let's get this party. You can't lose anything you never had. Yep. I hope right, it's not. We see. couldn't take a level 13 solo right now, Zero. Well, we could. We could run away. I don't think it's that <laughs> fast. Well, it would depend on... We made exactly, it exactly it like a sixth of the way, and then we got into an encounter. <laughs> So, yeah, those NPCs we had. Uh... Yeah. Mm. Okay. So They're there for a reason. Now. I can just hide in the cart. Oh! Oh, it's crossing on a ferry. No, I've seen this. We're turning around. This will end badly. We'll catch dysentery. <laughs> what are you you about? There's ring the rates behind you. There's ring rates behind you. Ford the river. Wait, are we on a different map now? Yeah, no, I think counters. fording the river is a worse idea. It's like, we have to cock the cart. Okay, guys, if, uh... Oh, God, what's that super wagon... Oh, God, what's it called? A crazy thing. Super wagon adventure? Yeah, we gotta jump over the river, guys. That's, that's oh, what God. it's taught me. Yeah, fording yeah. it? Fuck that nonsense. Jump the river. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come back well, anyway, in our yeah, you, like you, bitch. You're, you're, at a, you're at a ferry. And the uh, the ferry is actually the actual ferry is on the other side. There's a strand of really crappy rope here. What oh, map are we on? Oh, there we go. Swamp. Yeah. If only I could throw my halberd and teleport to my halberd. <laughs> hmm. How, uh, how stable, how weak does this rope seem? It's old and cruddy, but it's serviceable, you think. Uh, how is it, uh, tied up? It's just tied, it's just tied to a post here. Hmm. Look at the post. Does it look like it's molding and crap under weight? <laughs> no. And there, it's tied to the other end too. It's just a straight line going oh. across. It would be acrobatics checks to balance your way across. The question is, how good oh. is the cart's acrobatics? Never mind. Checks? Here's 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 the ferry. Sorry, for yeah. some reason that wasn't visible to players. Yeah, I here's was like, the ferry. There's a ferry on the other side. Yeah, there it is. See? Yeah, we are. Okay. It's got a little <laughs> crank on it. It's got a it's got a little crank on it that it appears the crank is connected to the rope. Okay, so oh my god, I know uh, what this is. That's that, that's an eight square jump, so Grunger, you can totally jump that. <laughs> First 
Gungar looks to the skies. This is only a 40 acrobatics check. It's foggy. You don't see anything, though. Anyways, um, does anyone with actual real perception want to take a look around the general look to see if critters are waiting for me? Doesn't matter. Whenever you turn the crank, the horde will be triggered. And we'll have to hold them off till it gets across. Are there crocodiles in the water? Not that you can see. Okay, I'll actually roll a perception. And because this might still be parroting country, I will look up too. You yeah. can't stop here. The perception isn't good, but... Yeah, that's going. something. It exists. Well, the yeah. sky's still nope. there. Yeah, you don't see anything. Actually, no, the sky is not there. It's foggy. You can't see the sky. <laughs> That's true. Douche! Oh, crap! Oh, jeez. Grungar, uh, you detect some movement under the water. There's crocodiles in there. Hmm. We're swimming in an option. Do I notice, like, a, maybe a specific spot? Uh, ro roll another. Actually, roll another perception check, real quick. Okay. You saw. You what? saw a. You saw like a bubble come up right here for a split second. Last time we dealt with one, you uh, just like, so I just area attacks where here. it was. Yeah, that you, you. You knew something's around here. You just saw a little bubble come up. For all you know, it was a fish. I think. Uh, actually, that's there. a plus one now. So that's a seventeen perception. I think he looked. Yeah. At yeah. Actually, you didn't. Actually, surprisingly. Grungar saw it, but you didn't see it. Even with the 17. Grungar was just lucky <laughs> to be looking in the right place at the right time. Grungar, did you see something? Well, there was something here, so if you could try to nuke... Okay, Tarkus sees it. Tarkus, Tarkus is looking in the water. Tarkus, you see a, you see a dark form. Even, even in the murky water, you see kind of a, a dark rip form and some ripples here. Here. A little bit here. A little here and a little here. Great. Well, I'm gonna just say, well, looks like there's something in this river, so I don't advise we swim across. Last time we just, like, threw area attacks at it. Can't really hit two, though. Like, that won't hit any. It's magic missile all things until they come up. <laughs> That's a good Best point. Best fishing yeah. tactic. They, like, fly you straight. Need, you need to be able to see them first. Yeah. yeah. How I see it in my head is like the magic missile fly straight. Line of a, like line of effect and stuff like that. And sort then of. as soon as it's above the spot, goes straight down at the thing. Oh wow! <laughs> I, I crit my perception roll. Huh. Yep. Well, Telling me. How about if we think something's there? Everyone like prepares actions, and then I'll just throw something in there and see what we can spook up. Okay. Depth charges. I can prepare to form my halberd. Gengar <laughs> prepares to charge if it gets too close to the surface. Like somewhere you can hit. I can always Elric Bolt. Probably not stand directly next to the edge of the thing because you, you know. Yeah, yeah, we've kind of learned that's not a smart decision usually. You're yeah, in the river, you're being mauled by piranhas. Put Gengar in the lead. Uh, this you did be see, more Ari, uh, actually, White Wizard, uh, White, well, White Wizard, you did notice a, a small wake going along here that quickly disappeared. Hmm. Can we try a nature check to actually see what kind of creature this might be? Or is sure, it too... Just, well, yeah, just roll, roll, like, like... Make a guess in your head and roll the like. If you think it's a undead, roll religion. If you think it's a, a natural creature, yeah, a crocodile, roll a nature. Mm. If you think it's an aberration, like an aboleth or something, roll a dungeoneering. Think it's a demon, roll arcana. You know that sort of thing. <laughs> like, well, you know, we'll cover all, cover all the corners. Yeah, yeah. Is seven Four generators strong. Use turn hippo. The worst thing I'm rolling well, I just don't have a modifier. Yeah. 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 Zero, zero is right. It could be hippopotamus. We could bite them and get that one feet in 3.5. Oh, jeez. You have to fight it single handedly, though. That's... Yeah, we could all take on one on one. Grunger approves um, of that. 
Let's see, I have Dungeoneering. Well, I don't have a decent Dungeoneering. Let's see, I have five in Dungeoneering. I'll try that. I'll be doing that one. Alright, should I do Dungeoneering on Nature? Probably Nature, because you're actually, you know. Yeah. The Nature guy. Oh, 18. Can't complain with that. Alright. Anybody rolling religion or anything like that? Eh, yeah. why not? Are there any undead that lurk in water? I've well, already seen some some that lurk in water. Those ghouls. Yeah, the answer is yes, but <coughs> are these it? The thing is, is that they're... That's it. Really okay, Brian, yeah. Brian you, congratulations, Brian. You are a winner. <coughs> yeah. It appear it uh, you you're you're like wait a minute this is really familiar. <laughs> <laughs> you've encountered you've encountered undead that have swam before and you're like hmm hmm yeah yeah you think it's undead undead crocodiles. <sighs> so, oh oh I Why need to do that. Undead. Thank you. <laughs> undead aquatic parasites. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Rungar quits. It's because the they card. fell into the water that they became... Penguins. No, that's unrealistic. <laughs> They're undead oh. Puritans. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, what do you guys, what do you guys do then? Penguins. Um... Should we go ahead and try to fight them? Well, I guess Matthias hasn't seen them yet, so I can't insight to see if they're waiting or anything. They'll... They probably Which will they attack are. once the ferry moves, or once we're on the ferry crossing. I'd rather we just fight them Should now. Should we just bait them to the shore and... Yeah. Let's, let's try to bait them, so... Dangle one of, okay. the, one of the sisters one, can, uh... Dangle one of the initiates over Go back, here. turn back to the sisters. Okay, any volunteers? <laughs> we toss the brain somewhere down here. No, no, not brainy. <laughs> Out the brain. <laughs> We still have three, at least one. three can on the left. I say everyone just prepare their standards, and then a lay scorching burst somewhere. Okay, it's a fire attack, and you're trying to put it in water, so you're gonna take a penalty like a. Oh, magic missile's probably better. Yeah, yeah I think it's here. minus it's two or something. Might be yeah, it's like aquatic, com aquatic combat, I believe it's. I don't think the one we saw over the top was like around there. Fire powers minus two, yep. Okay, so does everyone have something readied? Yeah, I have probably my already Elder Gold. Yeah, I'm right, so ready the blessing of light to smack whatever comes up first. Albert Um, how late is it in the day? It's it's pretty early. It's you've only you've okay. only been at it. Actually, no, no. It's it's actually no because you've you've traversed 15 miles and you can make a maximum of 20 miles a day. So it's a little bit past mid. It's it's a little bit past midday. I'd say it's about three in the afternoon. Alright. I think this is what. Should I go ahead and just what? make that into a prepared smite undead? Mm. <laughs> No, that's sent them right back in the water. I'd wait until we get a better idea where they are. Okay. Alright, so you're going ahead and, uh... I guess I'll put you... I guess I'll have you guys roll initiative, then. Just to have it on there. Yeah, let's do that first. <laughs> the thing that pops out is an undead water dragon. Oh, did I add an initiative? No, I didn't. It's a plus two now. Wow. There we go. Eh. Average. Can't complain. <laughs> the card's on the initiative weight. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> well, it needs to make an acrobatics check to get over to the ferry. It's like, don't worry, guys. I got this. <laughs> I'm going to roll initiative for the... Uh... I want the god with only That's a three initiative. <laughs> the card. Oh. I am faster than it, and I blow it. It's almost faster than Matthias. 
<laughs> the cart starts on its turn. It rolls one square. We start. We don't notice it rolling away. Trying yeah. to sneak away. Our god, our cart's a live construct. How do we not know? The better question is, why did the sisters have this? Oh, we already know they're <laughs> Gurote experts. The cart was on the list. That is true. You're like, Not really sure how that would work in a zombie, but that's a different story. <laughs> that actually that makes a lot of sense. I would Yes, joke the thing with no life. I would an assassin technically would not make a lot of sense because it's like my poison kills you. You can oh. get a you can well actually you can get a, there's a there's a feat you can get as an assassin where your poison <laughs> ignores immunity and resistance. <laughs> it's like my special proprietary blend. Basically, you're Coco from Toriko. You just have a poison against poisons. It's like yeah, well, but I have this corrosion poison. It's like no, that's acid. No, but it's a poison. <laughs> I have in right. uh, So anyway, uh, what do you poison. what do you guys? So everybody's ready in action then? Yep. Yes, yeah, so that's standard, I think. That's some okay. kind. Oh. So Grungar, Hemic, Tarkus, Cintiq, did you want to do anything? Yeah, cuz I set it off, so scorching okay. burst. Um I'm guessing Actually, we're going to consider this a Actually, let's consider this a, pri a surprise round. So, okay. yeah, go ahead. So you get combat advantage. Oh, oh minus two becomes a zero. Yep. Yeah, I'll just leave that there then. Damage bonus. Number of enemies targeted. I'm I'm just, I'm guessing I'm just rolling one attack roll, so. Yeah. Oof. Okay, you do. And it hits. And the school of fish Did comes you sink his battlefish? <laughs> battlefish. Battleship. Actually, can we not fish you things in Teak's fire? Alright. So. Well, we need a rope that's strong enough to hold. So, anyway, hold that happens. So, uh, out of the out of the blue, up comes a sodden oh, ghoul. And then now's the part where they just they're just going to rush the shore. Sodden Ghoul pops up here and starts to charge at Tarkus. <laughs> okay. Wait, oh, jeez. Uh, like a wizard's reaction shot. Okay, that hits. Oh, so had I, I had re I had a uh, throwing my halberd ready. So do I get to do that? Okay, so yeah, he popped up right here. He popped up like right here. So go ahead and. Because uh, I mean, they're in the river. I'm pretty sure melee attacks aren't very effective at things appearing five squares away. <laughs> So, let's see, we basic. Uh, do we have combat advantage? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, not, not really, no. You didn't, you didn't know, you, you don't. Okay, it was just no. Cintiq okay, because that she makes was sense. the surprise yeah. round no. person. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Yep. Oh. Okay, you got, this one is, it gets wrecked pretty good there, but anyway, it charges to here, and it's going to use its claw attack on you. Mm-hmm. I just need to check some stuff because I swear I had something against charge attacks. Or a uh, uh, heavy blade expertise, or is it a uh, spear? Uh, yeah, it's, arm expertise? It's, it's the pole, yeah, yeah, pole yeah. Arm. yeah, pole arm expertise. That was it. Okay. Do, do you have a bonus? Like your it gives you like a plus two bonus to defenses, but I yeah. think that still breaches your defenses there. Just by one, because they've got the shield bonus from. Uh, yeah. And then and then it's the plus two, so it's twenty three and you just hit by one. oh my god, no. damn it. Yeah, you hit, so twelve damage. Okay, you uh, go ahead and mark yourself as grabbed. Yep. Can you make do you want to take your action or should I take mine? Uh, uh go ahead. Okay. Well mine was just a stock and strike, so Okay. Would I would have had to That's wait healing, that's not second. right at all. Okay. Stock and strike, no normal variants. Uh, that hit? That hits. Bonk. Oh. Nice. Okay. 
anyone else, or is that it? Uh, I'm thinking I'm waiting to see if uh, another thing shows up. Okay. Uh, you do. Uh, Sod and Ghoul does a pr- approach over here too. It's uh, it's been under the docks. It actually starts walking up to the shoreline. So if you're gonna charge at it, go okay. ahead. Well, as when soon it gets as it's on the shoreline. On- as soon as it is on land, I would charge. Okay, it's right here when it reaches land. So, okay, so I go here. All right. Miss. That's disappointing. Uh, that's a good amount of damage. I'm gonna try heroic effort. Still miss. Okay. So it's a twenty. Okay. Oh yeah, I also gained my temporary hit points for getting attacked. Okay. Well, anyway, it, it turns its attention to you, then. And it's going to try its rending pounce on you. So it's going to claw you twice. So this is minus two. Nope. And this is minus two. Yes. Okay. You are grabbed. And that was from being attacked. Um, okay. The ongoing is what happens if you get hit twice. Okay. That makes two claw attacks at a minus two penalty. If both attacks at the same target, the target is grabbed, which they already would be from the attack. Yeah, it, that's just that, that's just how the power was. That's, that's just how the power was described. I, I straight up copy pasted that. Trust okay. me. Just yeah. Ongoing you, is the second hit. Got it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, that's its turn. And it's back to you, Grungar. Yeah, it's my turn. Uh, against the guy who's right there still, let's hit it with Jarring Smash. Then. Yep. No. Miss. I will miss, yeah. Sadly. Okay. Um, I'm just going to stand my ground here, then. Okay. Mm-hmm. Emic. Okay. Well, let's try and escape first. Versus his reflex. Reflex. That's, that works. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay. We'll just stay where we are for simplicity's sake. Okay. Actually, no. I'll shift here. All right. And. We'll go like this. Okay. Oh, come on. Miss, yeah. That's a miss. That's that's still on land, right? Yep. Yeah, right there is on land. It's probably a bad idea, but... <sighs> Actually, I guess that's your turn. I'll go be here instead. And yes, that'll be my turn. All right, Tarkus. Okay, I'm gonna roll my athletics to attempt to escape the grab. So, sure thing. Not that great, but let's attempt it. Oh God. Okay. That, um, yeah, that that's versus four. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay, uh, I escaped the grab. Um, okay. Wow, I didn't. Do you want to shift? Hmm. Um, yeah, I'll probably shift down one. Well, wait, should I shoot? Yeah, no, no, not down one. What am I doing? Up one. Uh, you have reach. Yeah, remember? I know. I was like, what am I doing? Law, law, law remember? <laughs> I've got a clear ground. Shift up. Yeah, can you, can, you can shift after a grab, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, part yeah. of the, it's part of the, it's a move yeah, action. I'm going to move to there, and then I'm going to, let's see. Um... Okay, let's see. I'm going to hit it with Word of Exchange. So let's do this. Go free. And you're going to have words. <laughs> yes. Uh, Halberd. Uh, rune Protection. No attack bonus or damage bonus. Uh, 17 versus AC. Probably does. That totally misses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Although now, uh, now my rune of protection is active, so resist two guys are, adjacent. It's now. not like these guys have a lot of AC. It's just y'all are rubbing, ru rub, not rubbing, rolling subpar. Rubbing subpar. We're rubbing sub sandwiches over them. Okay. Yes. And Slather them with the submarine sandwich. Mm, yeah, yeah that'll that be Italian me. dressing and meatball sub. That'll be me, I just need to put my aura on because I have room. Alright, Sister Initiates, they have their garrots. Actually, no, I think at this, uh, at th yeah, at this point they still have their garrots, but they're gonna, they, they don't really see how that's gonna be much use. Sister, well, you know what, Sister Initiate 1, I guess, will go ahead and come up and try to put Sodden Ghoul 4 in a chokehold. She's going to move like this. She's going to try to rope garrot him. So anything grabbing him can't hurt. Oh, that totally hits. So she is currently <laughs> grabbing him. That's... Good job. <laughs> Slips it right around his neck. Yeah, that good support. Yep, he is the, the grabbed, and at the start of each of his turns, takes a minus two penalty to attack rolls, and... Six damage. <laughs> six damage, yep. God. Yeah, it's pretty nasty little wire garage she's got there. Sister Initiate 2. Sister Initiate 2 is going to uh, is going to move is going to move around uh, like this. She's gonna move. She's gonna move to here. No, she's she's gonna move up to here. She's not gonna she's not gonna get out in the open on her own. She's just gonna wait. It's gonna be her turn. Cintiq. Uh, let's see, there's only two on the map. Um, what to do, what to do? Burning hands, no. <laughs> okay, burning hands. I could do targets. that. That would be kind of silly. <laughs> you just burn everybody. Um, burning hands on the cart. Uh, what's it, the perception check? A minor? Yeah, a minor's perception. A perception to see if I see anything in the water. She doesn't have a good check, okay. but it's worth doing, because she has nothing else to spend the minor on anyways. Let, yeah, me, make, let me make some checks real quick, hang on. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you, you do not see anything. <laughs> Holy crap, i <laughs> Oh, gosh. Well, there you you do not see anything. So anyway, what do you do? Uh, um, I will just scorching burst. Uh, sodden ghoul three. Yeah, let's just do that. So doing it in a way so it doesn't hit Grunger, because okay. that would be a bad idea. Kind of a waste. Two, just one. Three flex that hits. One fire damage. Yep. He's still in the water, but still, you you would have hit him even with the minus two penalty. Okay. And um. Actually, um, is he in the water right now? No, he's not. He's on land. Never mind. Okay, that will probably be her turn. Actually, that will be her turn, which is going to turn and look at the initiates and be like, "Just get back to safety. We can handle this." She's got it. She's got them. Pretty. She's got them tied up there pretty good. She looks. She gives you kind of a look, like I'm doing my job here. After he McMurders it, go back. All right. Well, anyway, Marlesia. <laughs> Yeah, Marlesia, uh, she's gonna, she's going to use her broken shards power. It's just going to target uh, Sodden Ghoul for, like the like the way the burst is. It's gonna be a burst like that. Actually, wait, never mind. She only, it's only a, it's only a one, it's only a single target attack. Oh, and she botches. Jeez. You see, this is what happens when you stop worshiping, worshiping devils. You just lose all your powers. Anyway, that's uh, that's all she can do. White wizard. 
Hmm, let's see. Do, 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 These nuns are basically infernal assassins. In fact, in fact, their stats are actually from Tiflings. <laughs> I, I got rid of their fire resistance. I like how our card hey. has HP. Yeah, that was by accident. You know, it's just I like how the card has HP. Um, it, has, it would have more than ten HP. Trust me. But <laughs> Moonfire Blade on the well, oh, it. It took a lot okay. of damage before, and it hasn't healed up. Right. Uh, with combat, was that with combat advantage added? No. Okay. So, oh wait, no, never mind. You weren't flanking. So, sorry. Oh. No, that that does not hit. There's a reflex. Wow. Yeah. No, they have a high reflex. And they yeah, were swimming. Fought so. these things again. They're actually kind of quick. Yeah, and they were swimming and everything. Actually, I think ghouls in general are quick, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're. Uh, these are the, and also these these guys generally have high defenses because they're assault their soldier category, so the defenses are always going to be a bit higher. Okay. Wait till they wait till you get in the water with them. <laughs> they, they, they they really shine there. Suddenly they have a huge boost to their attacks just because they're aquatic. <laughs> That's why we choose to fight not in the water as much as we can. <laughs> yeah. But well, that's my turn then. Okay. Matthias. Doot -do -doot. Blessing of light. Nope. Oh jeez, no, you just botched that, yeah. Anything else? Hmm. You got an action good. one, so <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Sister initiate one. Wait, what? How is she on there twice? She just had her turn. I, I must have done that out of there order. Are, no, anyway. no, no, two of the sister sister initiates are called Sister Initiate 1. It's just one's called, you know, that one. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do... Or you could rename one. Okay, hey, we're just gonna sw we're just gonna switch them around here. Uh, they, that way... Hang on. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna switch them around here. She goes here. She goes here. Okay. Sister initiates one. She's going to probably she's gonna probably move down here, and that'll be her turn. Okay, now it's back to the Sodden Ghouls. Sodden Ghoul 3 is going to target Grungar. He's going to use his Rending Pounce because he hasn't used it yet. Actually, no, he's not. He's just going to use a regular Claw Attack against you, Grungar. 24 hit your AC? Uh, yeah, you matched. So, okay. yeah, 7 damage. Alright, so you take... Okay. And you are grabbed... Uh, White Wizard, go ahead and make an opportunity attack against him because he's going to try to dra drag Grungar into the water. Okay. Well, let's see if he can... Hang on. before you, let, let me roll his athletics check just to see if he can even get it. It's versus your fortitude, Grungar. So okay. let's see here. What's his athletics? Nine. This is going to be versus your fortitude. He's going to be see if he can move you half speed. Nope. Mm, okay. No, he doesn't. So you close. don't. <laughs> so yeah, he's not even going to move. So no need for the opportunity attack. Because he, he chugs on you, but nothing happens. He kind of tried to drag the wrong thing. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's 
trying to drag a giant bugbear with a fortitude of 20. Yeah. He, he realized he grabbed the dock and he's trying to drag that into the water. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, that's his turn. Sodden Ghoul 4 uh, takes 6 damage. And he's going to attempt to attack Matthias. No, he's going to try to attack the Sister Initiate. Because she's in his way. Choking him. So he's going to try to claw her. Douchey. That's actually a 13. And that totally misses. So he swing and a miss. And uh, he's going to try... Now he's going to try an athletics check to escape. He's learned the error of his ways. 21. What's her fortitude? Yeah. Okay. He breaks the grab and shifts up a square. He, he doesn't like it quite so much when he's on the receiving end of the grab. Yeah. No, he maybe does not. <laughs> well, maybe you've learned your lesson now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, about, that, about, the, about that time, Hemic, behind you, another sodden ghoul appears. Oh. Unfortunately, ghoul uh, has, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was a great deal. <laughs> Uh, uh, hang on a sec, hang on. Oh, man, that killed me. <laughs> were, were you waiting for that? <laughs> no, I just did it right away. I figured it would be simple yet. Get a pretty good reaction. <laughs> um, and I'm, I just saw it on the stream. I just had to see that again real quick. It just popped up on the stream. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, well, anyway. Large part of comedy is timing. You need to be able to... Yeah. Improv quickly it's, and uh, yep. okay. not and be able to not filter yourself. Yep. Anyway, anyway, it's going to try to it's going to try to claw you. Unfortunately, See, is it, actually, I think it, is it going to do rending pounce? I guess it's going to try to do a rending pounce on you. <laughs> so he's going to make a claw attack. You're not in the water, so no, he doesn't get the plus. He doesn't get that plus two. Well, actually, hang on, he's flanking though, so we're just going to. I'm not going to. So. There. Yeah, just gonna leave it there. Unfortunately, Gulf has has thirteen misses. Eighteen also misses. Uh, eight, it's just flat eighteen. Yes, it also misses. Oh, okay, I thought you should plus or minuses for some reason. Okay, well no. anyway, that's his, that is his turn. This is one of the more weirdly incompetent battles we've had. Swing, swing, swing. Uh, we're just waving our hands in front of each other. Uh, Grungar, Grungar, you are, you are actually uh, very suddenly attacked. Okay. Oh no! One that was just below the surface that pops oh, up right no. there. I will take. Two. It grabs you, and it's, it is this one is going to attempt to uh, drag you in the water as well. It's gonna let's see here. It's D twenty oh, no, no, plus it was eight damage because. Okay, I'll heal back. Yeah. I forget that I'm next to you. It's because our All zone's right. kind of over. Versus that. this is yeah, this is versus your fortitude. Oh, miss. Yeah, he he tries to pull you, and it just you're just you're you're a rock, man. You are a you are an island. <laughs> the tank doing his job, not moving. Got it. Woo. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's the sodden ghoul's turns. Grungar. Hi. Uh, Sun Ghoul 3, let's try this. Yes. It had 7 health, so you really oh, killed fine. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not grabbed, though. Unless the other yeah, one's still no grabbing longer. me. Uh, Sun and Ghoul 5 is still grabbing you. Okay, I was checking that. So let's try to get out of that. Skill check. Athletics. Wabam! Yeah, you do. You escape. And I will... Shift back one. Yeah, let's do that. States. Clear the states. Ah. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I am getting away from this dock. They keep groping me. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine. And that's my turn. Alright, he make do that voodoo that you do so well. <laughs> Uh, 
you anxiously after this noise. Well, I rolled a three and a three and a six so far. That's All right. everything, I guess. I guess Tarkus. Yeah, I might not say. Um, <clears throat> uh, Some days just don't true. favor. Dice gods are a, are a fickle bunch. Fickle. Yeah. I think I am going to shift up one. And attack fight. People. Yeah, the dice gods are a fickle race. They fight with their feet and they poop with their face. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm going to attack Ghoul Four with. All right. I'm going to I'm going to do Wolf's Rend because I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like you. I'm going to rend you with the wolf style. I'll give him a case of the wolves. Very well. I will try your Wu Tang style. Wolf's Ren, let's try this. Primary attack. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> it's like missed. it's like brainy shut up. <laughs> that misses. Yeah, secondary attack. Let's hope this one doesn't miss. Please. Oh god! Okay! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> uh, 31 it was the damage. opposite of a miss. Thirty one damage. Um okay. That was good. That, that made up for the first miss. Um, this is kind of miraculous, some of the stuff that's happening here. I don't care if it wasn't knock prone. I'm happy with that roll. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, huh. Um, wow. Right, let's see. Uh, I'm probably just going to do a perception to see if I can see any more in the water. Yeah, sure my thing. minor action. Yeah. I think, yeah. Oh my god, that was good. 16. Nope. Okay, well, that's me. Alright. Sister Initiate. She's gonna... She She's going to attempt to uh, strangle that ghoul again so he doesn't get away. She moves up here like this. She's gonna try to rope garrot him. I imagine he's pretty hurt right now. Oh, she botches. Ah. Uh. He tries to slip it around him and he deftly ducks. Duck, dodge, dip, dive, and dodge. Yep. Sister Initiate uh, 1, she's going to start moving up this way too, but she's not going to engage. It appears that, you know, that one is uh, the braver of the bunch. Actually, no, Sister Initiate 1 can't go yet. Sister Initiate 2 moves up there. Centique. Um, this might be a horrible idea. Do, do, do. Move up to there. Okay. Three or four attacks. One, two, three, four. Okay. So yeah, you're gonna take a. Let's see here, just just roll them, and I'll 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 add up whether or not you hit. Yeah. There's a plus one against the top left one, but we'll see. Yeah. Four. Okay. Oh. Hit. Oh. 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 Hit. Oh. Hit. <laughs> hit. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, I, I probably uh, missed the sudden. Uh, sudden uh, miss. You missed the last one. So yeah. So sudden ghoul for. Nine damage. And ongoing five fire. So wait, why were the four rolls? I I must be missing something. Uh, there was a the hit. Water. There's a hit. Yeah, there's oh, okay. a hit. Yeah. Okay. That, that's you know why this asked. now because because you see something underwater detonate like a depth charge. Okay, so free ghouls. Um, no, free crits. Wow. Um, huh. How do you want to know? Right, like so that one probably had so many minuses, but crit. Well, well, no, it was oh, a minus. Yeah, it was, it was it, attack, because yeah. it's a, it's a, it's an area attack, so it's only a minus two. Yeah, Even if you didn't that see him. That's what they managed to it. Ah, uh, so good. Um, this way, yeah, he kind of bubbles to the surface from that. <laughs> Ow. Twenty-one. Oh my god, twenty-one and twenty-two. Nice. Okay. 
Actually, yeah. against Sodom Ghoul 2, give him the extra yeah. 6 from Hellfire Heart as well. Okay, so 28 damage. Yep. Is there anything on a miss? Does it do anything on a miss or no? No, nah, it doesn't. That's just burning hands. Okay. Uh, that will probably have to be it. But that was a good round. Yeah, that was yeah, hang on. Oh, and those two have ongoing five fire too. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to put it on there. For, but whenever, it's like doing this thing where whenever I try to select it, it beams over to the other side, like the like the column. I I fixed it. But anyway. Okay. So yeah. yeah. There, that happened. 58 direct damage and about, what, 15 indirect in those little bit? The cart is gonna move five squares. <laughs> oh god, it's haunted. <laughs> the cart, the cart catches on fire. <laughs> <laughs> the cart charges a ghoul. Actually, I didn't oh, even realize, I just moved out of it. The cart, <laughs> the cart is your friend. That, that was the actually a good reason chariots. to move forward, I didn't think about. Although that's ally friendly anyway, so. <laughs> the, yeah. the cart's the on cart fire. In two turns, right. he'll die. Marlesia is going to... Let's see here. What is Marlesia going to do? Let's see here. Let me look at this power. Stop being drunk. <laughs> okay. Okay. Airy burst 1 and then 10. She's going to try to make the tar... She's going to try to prone these two. Sod and Ghoul 4 and Sod and Ghoul 1 with the, the Neil ability. So... Missed and hit. 11 second damage. And he is prone. So these powers they're using, are they still invoking the powers of demon of devils? It's almost si you uh, all right, uh well I guess Cintiq roll a roll an arcana check right there. Oh, okay. I know it's not your turn, but you might as well. You've seen it already. Roll an arcana check. These are almost psionic powers in nature, what she's using. Oh, psychic powers. Like hypnosis. Which I may or may not have right now. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, no one's adjacent to anybody else, so I, I'm not using it. So White Wizard, it's your turn. Okay. Um, mm, mm. What? So move. Yeah. I'll attack go one. Okay. Yep, that hits. So eighteen. So twenty three radiant damage. You can probably kill it. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. Anything else? Uh, no. I guess you could teleport if you want, but I don't think you want to. Oh, well, I could Anyways, teleport Matthias is... here. Yay! <laughs> Matthias, Matthias is turn. Hey, bada bada. Swing! There's AC that hits. Huzzah! And Blessing of Light, Radiant Damage stuff. He had one HP left. <laughs> Good. Move. Okay. Um. Action Point Smite Undead, just because. Can I okay. push him and immobilize him at the surface of the water? Or is that a may, or do I yeah, have to? Can. If he did, he can would sink. Him? If he was mm. in the water. If, if you hit, you probably yeah. kill well, he's him. Got, he's, got, he's, got a, he's, got, he's got a swim speed, but, you know. But he's immobilized. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, I guess it's yeah. not like hover. So yeah, Sw go ahead. swim swim Versus speed will. eight doggy paddle. Yeah, that, Not spe yeah, that, swim that speed totally eight is. float. <laughs> oh, acting thirteen. So so eighteen. All right. 
right? And you push him. I can push him up to three, so we'll just shove him to two, yeah, two. Whatever, somewhere out there. And he's immobilized. <laughs> Does that put until the end ongoing of, fire damage? Until the end of my next turn. The ghoul just Is he still on fire? Turn. I hope he's, he's in still the water, on fire. But he he's technically still on fire. It's not like water can just douse out arcane burning. It's like phosphorus. It just gets worse. <laughs> All right. It's ongoing so. 50 fire damage. All right. So he was all covered in calcium. Good job. All right, sister initiate one. She's going to start moving up this way, but she's not going to do anything. Sodden Ghoul, t Sodden Ghoul two takes five damage. And he's immobilized. He can't do anything. He just sits still and sinks below the surface. And drown. <laughs> and saves. Is it, a sa is it a sa is it a is it a I thought it was just yeah. till the end of no, the thigh. Saves. Yep. And oh, until savings? the end of my next turn. No, the fire. Oh, is. until the end. The oh, fire. okay, the yeah, fire. the fire. Oh, yeah, yeah the fire. That's what I meant. Okay, that's what. I was oh, saying. yeah, he is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, saved. he does. <laughs> uh, would have been great if he burned to death at the bottom of a river, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have been. All right. Anyway, uh, I guess I guess as part of that, I guess he could roll a stealth check just because he's going down below. Uh, Fifteen was a stealth check. Do you guys still see him? Yeah. yeah. My is fifteen. No, I, exception seventeen. Okay. We still see like Pass? the column okay. of steam that was where he was falling, yeah. sinking down. Passive cool. sixteen. I don't. So. so he can feel good about that at least. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, I'm just leaving the token there. Sun Google Five. He's going to shift up one, and he is going to. Uh, he's going to use his rending pounce on Matthias. Hmm. Twenty-eight AC. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. And Spot he's gonna. On. Unless he was two. charging. <laughs> no. Okay, so seven plus like twelve, so nineteen, nineteen damage, and you're grabbed. <laughs> was that the thing? Man, that, does that the... just barely misses me. <laughs> was that the ongoing? Other power? And you have ongoing damage. You have yeah. ongoing damage. Yeah. Yeah, you have ongoing, ongoing fight five damage. Untyped. Is that first one? Is that yeah, first one? I've had the minus two. Yeah, the first one already had the minus two. I already incorporated it. Oh okay. yeah, you have uh, res you have resist two to both of those damage rolls as well. Sweet. So instead of twenty three, you went twenty seven. Double grabbed. Ow. And just on okay. going five. Yes. It's just untyped. Ongoing right, three. Hey. Ongoing two, actually. Superior fortitude. Actually, uh, resistances don't stack. And for the ongoing. No. Oh, the one for my feats. Three, so okay. That, that hits. 28 damage, yeah. Let's push two. If breaks grab. Can. Yeah, it I'm breaks the grab. The other guy. <laughs> just send Matthias out there with him. Yeah, so just, just, just push him into the same square as he was, and then just falls down. Like on Matthias, top of the other get the guy. other one you while push, you're down you push there. him out there. You kill the other one. The other one had two HP left. <laughs> Gungar feels like he's done good, but can't tell why. He's in the he's in the water. I'd just say he's kind of floating flat on the surface, prone. Yeah, you, you clacked him out there in the water. <laughs> okay. Swing, bada, anyway, he makes turn. Okay. Let's see. Uh, here. And lean back on the cart. 
And uh, so, Brainy, how are you enjoying the show so far? He's not answering. Done boring, Brainy. Come on. You're no fun. That's my turn. Okay. Targus. Yeah. D- nothing is fine. Well, uh, I'm just going to throw my halberd at five. Okay. He's prone, so it's a minus two. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, let's see. Just take two off of this attack. Eighteen. That hits. Oh, oh eighteen. No, that yeah. misses. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. I could move, but there's not really a point. Um, no one needs healing. This has been going fairly well. Um, Hmm. Yeah, no, that'll be me. Oh no, wait, no. I'll roll. I'll I'll, mine, I'll, mine, I'll quickly mine a perception just to see if there are any more. Okay. Oh Jesus! You don't see anything else. Okay. Okay. Well, that's me. Just, just the one floating on the surface. <laughs> do 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 do. Kind of a necessary blood bush. <laughs> Burning hands. <laughs> you just uh, like a and, minus two to, but and Donnie yeah. asked you to roll to hit like fifteen targets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Twenty five. Large mouth bass. This just has the minus one in it because it's bloodied. So. Yeah. Uh, and one enemy targeted. Oh God. Fire damage. Right? Love when the casters. Yeah, you play. roast them on the surface there. It's like like your your flames are so powerful it sets the surface of the water on fire for us for a little bit. It's all the methane in the air. Yeah. That is swamp. The swamp. Alright, so anyway, that your turn? Yeah, that'll be your turn. Marlesia moves up there. Does she want to use that though? Uh, she's just gonna use her broken shards power. On him, she immediately starts conjuring up these psionic shards of what appear to be glass. Just out, shapes them out of thin air and, and tries to fire them at this guy. And she misses. She's all dazed and vulnerable. <laughs> White wizard. Mm-hmm. Her, um, her <laughs> like everybody's just. Shooting at this guy laying flat on the surface. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Um. Eldritch Bolt? Actually, I have another idea. Charge? Can I charge Sudden Ghoul too? Uh, what's your, what's your speed? Five. Alright, All right, let's see here. Uh, um, walk on water. That's okay. You could get like, like, like you could move to. Yeah, you can move. You can move into the water, is. and then you could you could yeah, swim into the there. water. You could swim into the water and then charge. Um. Okay. Okay. Roll an athletics check. Uh, I think you want to be a bit further than that. Like right there, if you wanted to charge. Oh, like so, yeah. Anyway, go ahead and roll an athletics check, just to see if you can, you know, see if you can swim right. <laughs> well, this is going to go well. This is the part where the crocodile shows up, right? <laughs> you just, you, sorry, sorry, dude. You, you, you just run into the water. <laughs> You run into the water and you sink. And don't come up. You going, yeah, you don't. You 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 uh you're you're underwater at this point. <laughs> well, underwater, you see the cold. That's of kind the of thing ahead. you I'll say go. before you push somebody into that situation. Anyway, let's see what the hell can I do now. To... You can you can you can you can still you can still kind well, of you still have you're another. Sinking, you're in you still have your standard. You still have an action. Yeah, you yeah, might you have could, taken you that chainmail off first. Charging. 
You can still try charging him. But well, uh, again, you're going to have to make an athletics check to see if you, you can, can try and get out of the water. You just wall in the water. You want uh, to the water. I'm going to do this charge if it's the thing that kills me. No, no, while you're underwater, you just land next to the body of a dragon. Okay, body. you're treading. Let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me look at the tables for swimming real quick, sorry. <laughs> I can't remember what the DC is for swimming. This is placid water. No. You know, you see what happens is you were fine, but then because you heated the top of the water, you got into a mini convection current going on over there. But no. Gosh. The thing is that I don't like do well. these things well. I suck at most skills, which is really okay. Cool. All right, yeah. So, so the water, so the water is calm. So it is an athletics check of DC ten. So Yay. you are you are, you are able to charge towards him. I actually make it. Woo! Like I watch as I botch this one. Oh, I crit. Okay. Oh, jeez, the exact opposite. He, he had 7 HP, so I'm just going to say he's dead. Um, so you'd so be, like, right here. The one, the one you're next to is already dead. Yeah. So, yeah, so... Yeah, he's 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 dead. Uh, let's just say... You know, 20 plus whatever. There's one problem. I didn't notice that everyone was punched up over there, so now I can teleport out. Yeah. Uh, teleport. <laughs> Doink. Oh, three, yeah, you uh, can teleport to the. Yeah. You can teleport to the shore. Doink. You're out. <laughs> yeah. They, everybody sees. Everybody sees the white wizard just go bloop right in the water, and suddenly over by Sod and Ghoul, you see him. Breach the water with his sword and smash it right into the top of it, killing it instantly. I just imagine that mighty sweet, and he immediately and suddenly he's just standing right next to Stinty, going, "Hey, how's it going?" I just imagine he ran he's got like seaweed all over him, but down uh, he ran down towards Grungar, then just jumped on top of, just jumped down and just rushed down on it. <laughs> yeah, I just imagine that he jumps in there. They both sink. Everyone's looking. All of a sudden, he's beside us. What you guys looking at? Just like, <laughs> what's up, you guys? Over our shoulder. Yep. What's up, you guys? All right. Anyway, uh, uh, encounter is over. Anybody and need none healing? Of your... word? I'm taking at least one of them. Might want to save against that uh, ongoing damage, though. All right. Uh, Go ahead and take five, and then <laughs> minor take action. Five. Take, yeah, keep taking five. Keep taking five until Here's you. Here's a thing uh, that can make save. him. I, I only take two because I have superior fortitude. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just right. going to spend one healing for yeah. myself. So. I'm going to spend my... Oh, no, that's a champ. That's a... Oh, man. Um, I don't think I'm I'll need to use... You can also grant yourself nope. a save through a healing check, can't you? Yes. Only other so you're up to four damage now. Yeah. Oh, so that was actually to... just using a daily... <laughs> daily minor action. <laughs> it's like... More saving throws, so I took two in one turn. Um, no, no, you're, we're not doing we're not doing turns currently. We're just it's like the end. No, of he the was using a power to grant himself me. another save. Oh, okay. He would still get another like regular save. Okay, right, so, so you're up to damage. so you're up to four, four damage. damage. Now yeah, six damage. And now it's four still because those first two. Oh, four. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Six, eight, six, ten, eight, ten, twelve, oh <laughs> sixteen, fourteen. Feeling <laughs> sick. So ten. <laughs> wow. Fourteen. Two, three, four, five, six, so we're at twelve damage. Then I rolled a one d six for a he for healing word. <laughs> oh my god. You are so I've only taken. I, I've actually gained. The... I've gained one HP now after using that in the healing surge. Matthias has just got like this hole in him that's just spewing like a fountain of blood into the water. Everyone's just standing around looking at him. It's okay, guys. I'm used to yes! this. There you go. Yes. You, you saved. You saved. You gained one oh health. My God. Yeah. He, he finally heals. He stops bleeding. Everyone's like, oh. I'm gonna take you, the other one too. Did you somehow take Donnie's encounter save dice for that? 
because that's the only way I can explain that. Uh, your blood resurrects the ghouls in the war. No, what? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like he's bleeding out the throat, just going... <laughs> and everybody's like... Bleeding into the water has attracted the zombie sharks. You made the horrible <laughs> yeah. mess of the blood river. Like, but this is... <laughs> But this is fresh water. I know, they're zombie bull sharks. <laughs> bull sharks? Bull shark? Bull right. shark, man. Bull shark. <laughs> That's Bush League turkey. So anyway, everybody, so, so anyway uh, there's still a ferry on the other side of this river. Grung Grungar starts tightrope walking across. Tightrope. Uh, the wa the 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 thing goes underwater. It's, it there's some will slack at least it. go underwater with your weight. Also, that's going to yeah. be a pretty high DC. If it's just if, a if rope. it goes underwater, then can you just like use it to get across in the water? Well, yeah, that's why I was asking help. To Grab it. Really it's going to be nice. a DC thirty by the looks of it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So just like like at, it'll be an athletic check because you're still swimming, but you gain it in a plus five. Because that's you're holding onto the rope. Yourself. Oh. Okay, that's plenty. You you make it across. The twenty five generator. Okay, uh, you look at this crank, and the crank is like the crank is supposed to Donnie, like go Donnie, along. Headset oh. is doing the thing. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm resting my leg on yeah, top you're of doing, my. Yeah, you're doing that thing again. You're going robo. Yeah. yeah. The time. I was. I was. Right yeah. Voice. Hang on. Hang on. Am I better? Yes. Yeah. Donnie, have a Snickers. Why? Because you sound like a robot when you're hungry. Better? Better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, Grungar, you look at this thing and you see this. It's got a crank on it. You're not sure how to work this thing. You'll need to roll a Dungeoneering check. Oh, Jesus. Well, this is where I destroy the crank by accident. Try turning it. Oh. Uh, you destroy the check. Yes, you figure. You... <laughs> Hang on a sec. Turn, turns out you just turn it around in a circle and it works. <laughs> turns out no, it, it had like this lever in. It, yeah, well, it had like this weird engaging mechanism on it to even get it to loop the rope properly, and it was rusty. But you managed to get it so. All those years as a bugbear sailor comes in use for once. Grungar has had a very yep. interesting life. Yeah, and we can send. Uh, I assume we just all get across fine in two trips because of the cart too. <laughs> no, it's like it's like every you pile everything on there, including the cart, and then you're like. <laughs> And then my like fight. So I'm, long, out. Right, yeah. I'm out. I'm out. I did my job. My Wait a second, though. No. What if this is like the, uh, what is it? The Hemic, riddle of the farmer the crossing the river. Dies. We can't leave Hemic behind with the sisters or he'll kill them. <laughs> so we always have to either have him with us or all the sisters. No. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He's the fox and they're the Go hens. Sleep, little baby. Go to sleep, And the ghouls resurrect. Little baby. All the fight. No, them sirens did this to the white wizard. They loved him up and turned him into a horny toad. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so anyway, that happened, so once let's go let, Let's go back. You can go another five miles. Mm -hmm. You guys can make it another five miles. So I'm going to go ahead and mark you uh, another five. Also, um... I guess for the three that were on the shore, we probably did smash their heads in and burn them. The two yeah, in the water, though, I'm guessing. Yeah. Unless Grungar felt like fishing yeah. them out. So anyway, no. Anyway, yeah. So uh, you guys, you guys want to set up camp because you've made it your five miles. I I marked it on the map. You started. You you're still kind. You're still kind of in the swamplands, but. You're starting. You're starting to get out of the swamp lands just a bit. Say what? I'm asking the group. Do we have any inclination to push on a little bit further to get out, or we'll just set up camp like normal? You would have to start making endurance checks. Oh, that's right. never mind. I don't want to have that fun. 
Plus, plus more or less, he is injured, and the initiates don't seem like they're that hardy. Great. So I guess we set up camp. And we don't yeah, have later. Her name is not actually less so. uh, from the context clues that you've been given. <laughs> uh, Lydia, but uh, whatever. More yeah. Lydia. <laughs> Lydia Arnes is is Marlesia. Dun dun dun. Well, you know what? I'll just call her the chick with the dead betrothed. The tattooed yeah. lady. Let's just call her Marlidia. There we go. Marlidia. Hmm. Marlidia. Marlidia. Just call her Mrs. Tarkas. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> the future Mrs. Tarkas. Uh, Tarkus' future ex-wife. <laughs> the, future, the future owner of half of all Tarkus's possessions. Yes. Okay. So, all right. So anyway, uh, what kind of what kind of checks you guys want to make for the uh, for the camp stuff? Let me delete your tokens on this. Oh, well, I have nature. I can nature my check. I am going to bluff the nature to listen to us. Obviously. <laughs> All right, hang on a sec. Let me. All right, so there's that. Let me go ahead and let me uh, put your tokens over there real quick. Yeah. Hang also, on. Paul, you're kind of quiet on my end. Uh, my end too. Okay, it's because I had to readjust my Skype things, and let me try fixing that. Okay. Is that better? A little bit, yeah. How about no? Okay. Yay. That sounds like you're back to regular volu volume. Okay. Although I was like gonna say like volume, I'm like volume, volume, <laughs> volume. <laughs> volume. <laughs> the volume. Is your volume okay? <laughs> if not, you might have wolves. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, the timing not... at the start of it was amazing, though. It's like, well, he might have contracted wolves. Chris, you don't talk ah. about, like that about people. You just don't. <laughs> but it was, summoned uh, you. It did. It summoned you. It summoned Paul, too. When he started talking crap about Paul, about him having wolves. <laughs> now, in fairness, I was saying each time I hope they don't have wolves. We show up. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, that's really implied, you know? That's, uh, that's something my doctor wasn't supposed to okay. tell people, man. <laughs> <laughs> doctor patient confidence. It's like, reality. if we have wolves, that's our deal, you know? It's like, if we tell you, we tell you, but you're not going to, like, tell go people. around being like, hey, guys, do you have wolves? <laughs> it's just, no, that's a no-go. All, right. All right, well, anyway, go ahead and make your way to the uh, camp map. Okay. Oh wait, no. Already over. Camp. Uh -oh. If you want to copy paste your wagon over there, but it doesn't really matter. Let's not just for the sake of not having us do something stupid and somehow destroy it. Well, we do <laughs> need to know where Brainy is just in case. Oh, that okay, is I'll, true. I'll, I'll 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 port it over real quick. That is true. Brainy isn't the thing. Here's what we'll do. Sure. We'll have Brainy there, and we'll have the three initiates and Mer Lydia, so she call her that now, apparently, sleep around him, so that if something attacks it, their bodies will cushion it for him. And if he decides to control something, they're the closest targets. I like how the cart had shrunk. It was a tiny cart. Yeah, because it was from the map. Yep. Tiny cart. A cart of many sizes. Ooh, but ooh, this is this is gonna be interesting. There's there's five sleeping bags. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. There were six pie members. Oh wait, no. There's the, oh, uh, you have your own sleeping bag. Never mind. Do you, Tarkus? Yeah. You Tar 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 Tarkus was sharing Grengars. Actually, yes. though, we uh, I, you don't have. Five. We didn't have five sleeping bags anymore, though. We lost like two. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, so... I think how it works is basically the shift people trade sleeping bags now. 
Mm -hmm. yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. T press the digitation is the hell out of hers when she has to go in it. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Grab her hands her to the bag. It's like it's like it's like she it's like it's like Cintiq looks and Tarkus and Marlesia are in her sleeping bag and she's just like, no, no, <laughs> See, no, no. If I ever have to make a new character for this group, I might have to make it a werewolf just for the wolf's joke. <laughs> <laughs> and I would There's ban something it you don't just, know about just me. based on that. There's something you don't know about me. I, I have werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> it's not con as contagious as people seem to think it is, but just there, just it, it, well. It, Sometimes even, there even is an outbreak. Yeah, even between even between outbreaks, it's still possible to spread wolves to others. Contact your doctor if you are engaging in any <laughs> lunar activities. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna see our role to potentially have combat. <laughs> Talk to. Talk to your doctor about Lupacort. <laughs> mm. yeah. Alright. So anyway, uh, who's got first watch? I were the re watches originally. Its first watch was like... Uh... The sister I think it initiates be... are. Oops, sorry. Go on, Donnie. Sister initiates are, are like kind of are kind of practicing their kind of not necessarily humility, but they, they devil worship. They don't know if no. <laughs> they're, they're they're it's more along the lines of they they're not sure if they want to be in any of these sleeping bags. They're like it's okay. We'll sleep out here. Okay. <laughs> Grungar gives them the gigantic tent he had from like way back when. It's like you could use this as blanket or place on floor. Go down like a tarp and just huddle up together back to back. Yeah, I figured they would. Actually, actually, uh, Marlet Marlesi is just kind of off by herself, milling about because they really don't. They're they're still kind of antsy about her. Okay, so first watch was who before? Is it like um, he making someone? Yeah, it was our, it was Hemic, and then once Ash came back, Tark is added to that. Then it would be Grungar and White Wizard through the darkest pair of the night. Then Cintiq and Matthias come the last ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So whoever first not on watch, gentlemen, get to your sleeping bags. Grungar climbs a tree because I rolled a self check. Actually, now it's okay. Classic. I'm Roll an athletics check too. I want to see if you can climb the tree. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. We'll do. We'll have fun with this. Sure. <laughs> In the background, as like Kimik and Tarkus start their first watch, you see Gungar fall off the tree. <laughs> no, you 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 you're stealthily hidden in the tree, and you find a good spot where you can nap. Why is that tree snoring? So he's Still. a Gungar is now a drop bug bear. <laughs> Killed the animal. Yeah, drop bug bears. It's the possum bears, man. Them possum bears. Well, if uh, let's see here. So who's on first watch right now? Tarkus and Hemic. Was it Tarkus and Hemic on the first watch? Yes. 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 Okay. I'm, All right. I'm back. Did we died? No. Yeah. Only you. Okay. Twice. And y'all, y'all made some good, y'all made some good checks. So it's going to be a plus five to your saves versus anything happening. Yeah, we decided okay, nothing, to. Nothing happens now, on first one. Uh, yeah. okay, now we're so all going to play second? zombie yeah. versions of our characters. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, who's on second watch? White wizard and, and Grungi. Grungar is just going to stay in the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, as Tar Tarkus is Tarkus as you lay down. Uh, uh, more or less, he just comes and kind of sits by you and just kind of leans on you. Okay. She doesn't say a word. She doesn't. She doesn't even get under your sleeping bag or nothing. She just comes by and just kind of leans on you, like with her back to you. Okay. She well. still has this kind of stunned expression on her face, like like she's kind of out of it. All right. Anyway. 
Slash, slash R D twenty plus five. Okay, nothing happens on second watch. Third watch is who? Uh, Matthias. 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 Okay, uh, so get out of your sleeping bags. Change places. Rotate. <laughs> She'll be starting to look over the ritual. While and on Cardi watch. takes a sleeping bag. <laughs> Cardi, yeah. Cardi! Cardi, brainy. <laughs> chickadee, the chickadee. <laughs> We're not the Squirrely, the squirrel. Barry, the bear. We're gonna get like the one bard who actually. Porcupiney, the porcupine. <laughs> okay, nothing happens. It was a very uneventful night. For whatever reason, that puts Gungar more on edge. Anyway, uh, you guys, uh, Tarkus, you wake up the next morning. She is more or less, he is passed or. Whatever her name is, is passed out on top of you. She's, <laughs> she's snort. She, yeah, she's she's face down on top uh, on top of your barrel chest and <laughs> snoring, drooling all over you. <laughs> Actually, yeah, there's a little there's a little tendril drool. Okay, hop down. Pack up some bags. Let's go, Carty. Oh, I guess I check if they're okay. Ricky the rickshaw. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what, what do you do, Tarkus? Do you try to wake her up or what? Uh, as non-startlingly as possible, yes. Just put her she in is. the cart and let's go. Yeah, she's, she's out pretty, of it all this time. <laughs> yeah. She she wakes up and looks at you and she's like, "Thanks, Tark. I needed that." Just very nonchalant and walks off. <laughs> she's kind of she's kind of chipper. Her, Grungar, she, she has kind of skipping her step, step. Gives him a very disapproving look. Hey, I didn't do anything. I didn't. <laughs> Bluff me. Bluff me. I don't know. Diplomatizing. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the Overland map. Okay. Um, love that it is a diplomacy. Stig is actually going okay. to climb into the oh. cart. During the first part of this, so she can finish studying the ritual. She's looking at preservation and memorizing that on the trip. Okay. All right. So uh, go ahead and make your nature check again, Tarkus. Yeah, nature check. Oh, uh, wait. Are we, we're back on the world map. Uh, yeah. Uh, nature check. Uh, nature. Dust to dust, man. Jeez. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah. We're going um, gonna to move you before... 15 miles. Wait, before that's completely done, Donnie, is there any yeah. check I could make? Because I think Grungar is doing the vast majority of the pushing to make it so we don't lose yeah. the extra the speed. Or the pulling. Well, the cart. I guess you could I guess you could roll an athletics check. Athletics. Okay. To, uh, athle uh, and an endurance check. Landscape yeah, check. Yeah, definitely an endurance swim. check. Yeah. Okay, okay I got the check. strength. And roll an endurance check. Yeah. This is always Grungar's problem. <laughs> And, uh, I wouldn't give. It, uh, I'll give you. I'll give you a plus. I'll give you a plus two to that. Uh, let's see here. I'll give you like an extra. Uh, let's see here. You're no. Well, let's see here. You're not. You're. You're still not going to be able to. Well, I don't know. That was a pretty awesome athletic check. I'd say you guys Dude. make it back up to five. So With you're. The average so you're making the two. Yeah. yeah, you're. You're making twenty. You're making twenty-five miles a day. <laughs> so right now you're at fifteen, and I'm like every. 15 miles I'm rolling uh rolling your rolling the check. Okay, no, nothing happens. So 16, so Gengar wanted to get no, done 15, with this trip. So. Another 10, I think. There we go. Yeah. Another 10. So you're right there. So you're getting you're getting close to you're getting close to the tavern. You're not far now. But uh, it's camp time again, so it's Let's just like to the camp, so. I just imagine as we're traveling along, you're just like, and on the left, you'll see where your dead fiance is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I go All back right. into hiding in the bush somewhere. Okay. All right. So, yeah. uh, does someone want to go looking for food? I could probably do that. I have nature. Nature check. Oh, um, I'm good at. Uh, Marlesia, Marlesia comes along with you. Okay. 
Well, she, she does not come very... back, but you do have a lot of meat. Okay, uh yeah, so she she goes she goes along with you and she she tries to help you with the with the gathering of stuff. She's got a little basket and she's like <laughs> and she's kind of chipper and talking to you and stuff. It's weird. Okay. Um, okay. What she does she say anything like odd or is it just sort of general conversation? It's just general conversation with you. Okay. She's she's like she's like just asking. So you know, like like who you are and stuff like that, and you know. Okay. Who's your parents like, when I'm going to meet them? Yeah. No, yeah. it's nothing like that. Circus is having the one night stand, not leaving Central. It's like, oh, you're still here. <laughs> yeah. It kind started of. as a one night stand, then it was a two night stand, and then it was a relationship, which he wasn't ready for yet. You couldn't even take care of that puppy. <laughs> what yeah, puppy? She's very, exactly. <laughs> she she's she's very chipper, but she's just asking stuff, and suddenly her face <laughs> just goes get just gets stone serious, and she stops. And she looks at you, and she starts crying. And says, "I didn't mean to do that." Huh? Uh, and then she starts crying. Okay. Um. Well, wait. Uh, calm down. What are you, What are you talking about? And she's. She looks back up at you, and she's got tears in her eyes. But then her expression changes, and she's like, "She's like, what?" Oh no! You just sort of. Uh, hmm. Are you okay? You. You just sort of. Broke down for a second. It's like I, I kind of been through a, going through a lot of changes in my life right now. I may be a little bit out of it. We've been traveling a lot. Yeah. Last night was a full moon. I started growing a lot of hair. I think I might have wolves. Anyway, she's she's like she's like let's get back to camp. Okay. Very dismissive. Okay then. That yeah. That happened. So how much did they find? Though? That's always a good sign. You found you found enough for the entire party. So no ration wasted today. Yeah, I mean yesterday you wasted an extra four because of because of these freeloaders, but these freeloaders, damn them. Just make just make just make sure to mark that off that you did spend an extra four rations because of the extra four people in your party. Well, I uh, I asked about that that we actually took ones for that day because that was the same yeah. day we left so we yeah. don't have oh closely i mean, I mean soon perishable ones oh yeah that's right that's right sorry i was thinking i was measuring them from the time you camped but yeah because you made it that day so yeah i guess you just didn't need anything that night yeah so we basically and then you asked. you eat yeah so you ate okay a big breakfast and yeah and then you just didn't okay all right so anyway, you guys, you guys find enough, and uh, you make it back. And she she starts she starts trying to chat with the uh, with the other sisters who are still kind of uh, kind of leery of her. And she, you know, she's she's trying to make conversation, and they they look at her, they keep looking at her funny, and she's like, "What? What did I? What's what's wrong?" And they meet they, like uh, the sister sister initiate, you know that one. She actually gets in front of the others and starts and starts uh, yelling at her. Like you, you, you don't remember what you did. You think you can just be friends with us after all this uh, after all the shit you put us through? Like they, they are they are seriously just like getting into it with, with her. Oh, and, cat fight. And, no, no, it's not even that. It's just like she, she's. A, they, they're just like they. They just tell her to leave them alone. And Marlesia, she just kind of. She's kind of. She just. She just hangs her head, like, and the Charlie Brown music plays, and she walks off sad. No, she doesn't even. No, she doesn't do that. She just kind of, <laughs> and walks off like I don't know what their problem is. Just kind of mullies mulls over here for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, Donnie's slowly slipping into robo mode again. Uh, 
that's because I'm resting my leg on the on the Dane's receiver. <sighs> got a uh, find a new place for that. <laughs> I can't help it. I I am a I am a guys. I am a very relaxed individual. Just and put a little electric shock thing on it every time. <laughs> put a little electric shock thing every time you put it on there. It'll zap you. No, then. No, next thing you know, my calf muscles are huge because I just kept <laughs> resting it on there anyway, and the electro <laughs> the electricity <laughs> massaged my legs into like huge athlete legs. But no, it's, <laughs> like, it's like, like I'm a very leg. relaxed individual, and I always like to kick my feet up. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's terrible. It makes it look you, like you can't actually <laughs> walk straight anymore. You just kind of walk in a circle. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> Don't even get me started on running. I just do donuts. But anyway, yeah, she's Melissa. She just kind of, she just kind of snubs them off and goes over there. Meanwhile, the sister initiates are talking amongst themselves and looking at her. Younger feels like you back in high school. <laughs> the one who Ed, the other person. Ed, are, are you guys are you guys taking note of this or are you just ignoring it? I'm taking note of it because. I'm watching. Tarkus, Tarkus, uh, the sister, the sister initiates a look at you, and uh, one of them actually, one of them's like, one, one of them's like, oh, oh, so, so you're interested in what's going on? Well, that's that's great. And she actually she uh, undoes the back of her bodice and bears her back to you, and there are like huge slash marks on her. Hmm. And she's like, that's the kind of company you're keeping. And she points at Morlesia. Right, right. I, I understand exactly what you're saying, but there was, uh, you, you do, you do know there was the, uh, the big, uh, de- like the demonic persuasion thing in that abbey that was kind of controlling everybody. It's like that. That's great, but we're not go- like we tolerate her presence, but we're not going to try to be friends with her. That's no, I get it. I get it. It just, I, I just. Be when someone puts one. you to the lash like that, you just there's yeah. certain lines you do not cross. It would be best if we didn't have any of the infighting, but I get what you're saying. It's like it's like and it's like she doesn't even remember it. Hmm. Well that may just be because of uh prolonged exposure to the uh persuade like demonic persuasion then. We, I, we, like, we honestly it's, have no idea what it was, what else it could have done. So, <clears throat> hmm. I do love how, in character, we just refuse to accept that they were devils instead of demons. <laughs> like we always use demonic instead of infernal or whatnot. Just racist towards demons, <laughs> towards devils. I'm just generalizing the terms because. <laughs> It's a lot simpler it's like, for the the poor. It's like they're poor. big and horned and have hooves and a tail. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just generalizing. Cloven hooves, a tail. They carry Halbert, giant. Halbert. Their giant. name's Tarkus. <laughs> <laughs> they carry giant. Like they, they tend to summon other evil. Th- they carry giant spiky pole arms. What? <laughs> and they use fire. Ma- you know, they tend to rain fire from. Oh. Uh, I have fire spells, but that doesn't mean I'm evil. <laughs> My fire's radiant. Sometimes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, anyways. The watches are the same. Anyway, yeah, watches are the same, so. Let's get this started. Roll, a, roll I guess, roll a uh, nature check, Tarkus, to make sure you had found a secure campsite. I knew you roll one for the foraging, but go ahead and roll one for. The... Nature, 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 nature. Watch me fail horribly. Yep, that wasn't as good. That was no, nope, you don't get a bonus. Okay, do I keep my twenty-eight for hiding in a tree, or not in a tree, but in a bush? Well, let's just go ahead and say you guys get a plus two for, tree. for Grungar. Grungar. Grungar's stealthiness gave you a plus two. Yay! Okay, first watch is over. Second watch. Oh. Nope. Okay, second watch. Let's yeah. see here. Second Awake watch. is Grungar and second. White Wizard. Yes. 
Oh no, Brian. Brian disconnected. Ah! Oh. Huh. You didn't mention a thunderstorm or anything. He's, yeah, he appeared to have DC'd though. Hang on a minute. Internet might have derped. Yeah. Doesn't matter, even with a plus five, we would have got nine, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's back. Is he? Oh, there he is, yeah. Open's over now. Wait, that are you, are you guys. Okay. Uh, did y'all want to roll a, a heroic effort or what? We could. I mean, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the White Wizard has it, right? Because it has to be someone awake on the shift, so. Oh, yeah. uh, good. Okay. Pack of wolves come by. He throws a rock and they leave. All right. So second, second shift. You hear second shift. You guys hear something pass by, but you don't think it noticed you. Because, yeah. because uh, White Wizard manages to douse the fire for a bit, cover just you guys up. Time. Yeah, just in time. All right. So here's the last watch. Last watch. Uneventful. Nothing happens. Okay. All right, so uh, Tark uh, Tarkus, once again, you wake up to find Morlesia passed out on you. Okay. Anyway, as you as you as you as you wake up, the sister initiates one of them. One of them mothers. I see the beast has a new pet. Hey, if I'm still in the in the server, do you want to kick me out since I DC'd? You should. Yeah, yeah. Let me do that. Out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I just I just imagine like Tarkus throws his halberd at the sister initiate. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't look like it doesn't look like you're in here. Okay. Because it it yeah, looked like disconnected it, it a couple disconnected. times. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway, you all you all get back on the card. Only it's a lot more awkwardly silent now. Now that you know that Mar Marlesia or whoever had actually tortured these women at some point. So, you know, there's a lot of weird tension going on there. <laughs> kind of hurts the one pushing it, too, so he's like, ugh. So, weather? Yeah. Go ahead and uh, roll a nature check to see how you guys do on your trip. See if you get some... See what kind of checks you guys make. You're getting close. What ritual am I gonna learn next? All oh, this is happening. Apparently, okay. all, all my traveling nature checks have been twenty-nine or thirty. Okay, here's right. uh. You're you're getting you're getting close. Let me let me uh. Oh no, Gungar didn't even make the athletics, so he's not able to push faster this okay. time. All right. We are we we are. I think we are actually within about twenty five. Oh yeah, snap! Yeah, I just wanted oh. to get there. Uh, you, you're you're appro you're approaching. You s it's like you've got you've gotten into some kind of ashy territory now. You notice that the trees have been burned around this area. But uh, yeah, the saving throw oh, just wasn't enough. What was this? So you guys want to? So you Fight guys want to do a heroic effort, or do you want to just? I mean, we're try almost to... there. We could do another yeah. one. Do we want to do another battle tonight? It's up to the uh, ones who have heroic effort. Either sounds fine to me. Yep. Yep. Uh, Aryan already used his like for the day, quote unquote. Yep. Yeah. I was saying we could do another fight and end, I guess, with us getting to the uh, to Red's place, or we could, if anyone wants to go to bed now or what, I don't know. It is nine o'clock, so I guess we could just heroic effort and push through. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm fine. Right, I'm just so saying we, we have been right. going for two and a half. If hours. I can stay up and we can do another fight. I just wanted to know if anyone was. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys, uh, if you do a heroic effort, you you have just enough to make it to Reds. Yeah, okay, let's, let's heroic effort, make it to Reds, and if anything, if nothing else happens, that's a good place to start. Okay, Achoo. and alright, so yeah, uh, you guys pull up to Reds, and I'm going to say we uh, end the session here as you are coming to Reds.